This presentation will be focusing on women in prison, the experiences involved with prison life, but also the possible alternative punishments that are available, with a focus point on community punishments. The aims of imprisonment as stated in Banks 2013 are that the offender deserves to be punished, it will prevent them from committing future crimes, it can discourage others, will protect society from the dangerous dishonest people and ensure people understand that the laws are there to be obeyed. Further aims and justifications of imprisonment involve the notions of incapacitation, rehabilitation and deterrence. Incapacitation removes the capacity to commit future crimes, therefore the prisoners will have little opportunity to commit crimes which will affect society. Currently, women account for just 5% of the overall 85,000 prisoners in England. However, this number has doubled over the past 15 years due to possible harsher sentencing on women. There are fewer women within prison compared to men, as the majority of women are imprisoned for non-violent offences and petty crimes. Therefore, the sentences that they receive will be under 12 months. One of the main issues with imprisonment of women is the vulnerabilities that they encounter, both previous to and during their imprisonment. According to the Prison Reform Trust 2012, women in custody are five times more likely to have a mental health concern than women in the general population. Similarly, women suffer from more complex issues such as domestic abuse, victimisation, substance and alcohol abuse. However, prison can be ineffective when regarding these issues as prison focuses too strongly on the punishment of the offender rather than trying to help the underlying issues which can be a root cause of crime. Most women leave prison still encumbered by debt, mental health or substance abuse problems with which they entered because they did not receive the help they needed whilst they were in prison. A primary reason for this is the ineffectiveness of short sentences. Short sentences do not allow enough time for reform and rehabilitation, such as drug rehabilitation, as the focus is on the punishment, thus there needs to be an increase in support for those who need help with mental health, drug and also financial issues. It can be argued that treatment programmes that are available within prison would be more beneficial and effective if they were available within the community. Falling from the issue of vulnerabilities is the high rate of self-harm and suicide within female prisons. 37% of female prisoners have attempted suicide at some point. Between the years 1990 and 2011, there were 95 self-inflicted deaths within female prisons. Although women represent just 5% of the overall prison population, they account for 49% of serious self-harm incidents within prisons. However, these incidents of self-harm and suicide do not just affect the prisoner, they affect those both inside and outside of the prison system. These incidents affect prison staff, other prisoners, but also the relatives of the offender. Similarly, because there are few women within the prison system, that means that there are few female prisons within England. Currently, there are 13 female prisons, which are based around the north of the country and London. The average distance that women are held from their home address is 55 miles. This consequently has an effect on their community and family ties. There is around 17,000 children who have been separated from their mother while she has been in prison. Therefore, prison is not the ideal form of punishment for those who have committed petty crimes yet have children. The focus should be on community punishments. Overall, it can be argued that prison is a fairly ineffective form of punishment for women. Many are repeat petty offenders, trapped in a cycle of deprivation, disadvantage, drug abuse and crime, which the prison system is conspicuously failing to break. The offences that women commit are particularly petty, resulting in short sentences which does not allow enough time for rehabilitative strategies. Many women suffer from personal, social and economic issues that are not addressed within prison that can consequently result in further cycles of crime. The issue of self-harm and suicide tends to be a result of women's vulnerabilities and these incidents affect both those inside and outside of the prison system. Similarly, as there are few women within the prison system, there are few female prisons within England. 
Women are placed far away from their community and family ties, which consequently affects their families and in particular their children. All of these issues can be seen to be pains of imprisonment, as stated by Sykes, 1958, particularly deprivation of liberty and autonomy. In March 2007, the Corson Review was established to research into women within prison. The criminal justice system is highly male dominated, therefore these punishments and prison was developed with male offenders in mind. It did not consider women's distinctive offending profile and also their needs. Therefore, there needs to be a more gender appropriate approach to women who offend. The review established that community punishments should be considered the norm for those who commit petty crimes and pose no risk to the public. Prison is not the right place for those women. The, the review had a particular focus on women with vulnerabilities and considered the needs of those who were inappropriately located in prison and those who were likely to offend. Some of the alternative forms of punishment include women's community centres, which offer services for vulnerable women to address their needs and become better integrated into society. Some of the alternatives to custody that are offered here are unpaid work and specified activity requirements. There is also the probation trust. This allows for access to mainstream services, such as mental health, drug and alcohol, housing, education, training and employment services. They also offer domestic abuse services and links to child social care. However, with all forms of probation, there must be an element of punishment involved. Other community punishments include curfews, exclusion requirements, residence requirements, prohibition from specific activities. The centres and projects that are available as part of a community sentence help women with a variety of issues such as drug and alcohol abuse, parenting and budgeting skills, debt, housing and employment problems, anger management and mental and physical health problems. The aim of the centres is to address the root causes of crime in a more efficient and cost effective way in comparison to prison. For example, the Together Women Centre in Bradford costs between £750 and £1,000 per woman per year, whereas prison costs £56,000 per woman per year. The Bradford Centre managed to reduce reoffending to less than 10% compared to the national average which is of 62%. The reduction in reoffending can be argued to be a result of a larger emphasis on the underlying causes of crime in comparison to prison, which can potentially be a hub of knowledge for a criminal career and the lack of attention on root causes of crime, which can subsequently have a higher rate of reoffending. It is clear that these alternative punishments to prison place a larger focus on treating and helping women's personal, social and economic issues that tend to be the underlying causes of crime. As the majority of women pose very little risk to the public, there is little need for them to be imprisoned, which can potentially make their situations worse. Whereas community punishments focus on helping the offender which consequently has a positive effect. The use of community sentences are beneficial to those outside of the prison system. As community punishments are much more cost effective than prison, this can consequently save the government and taxpayers a large amount of money. However, it is also beneficial to the children of the offenders as they could have a better relationship with their mother if she was to be punished within the community. In conclusion, prison is not the most effective form of punishment for female offenders. Female offenders have a particularly high number of complex personal, social and economic issues. However, there is very little help given to these issues within prison. As the focus is on punishing the offender, therefore these issues which could be the underlying cause of crime will remain. Similarly, as women commit petty crimes and receive short sentences, there is little time for rehabilitation. Again, those underlying issues will remain. All of these issues could consequently have an effect on reoffending. A high number of female prisoners commit self-harm and suicide due to their vulnerabilities and these incidents have an effect on both those inside and outside of the prison system. But also their family and community ties are damaged due to the fact that women are held from a far distance from their homes. 
Overall, prison is fairly ineffective as it can be damaging in many ways towards the offender, the staff of the prison system, their families and also society. A more effective punishment would be the use of community sentences for those women who have committed petty crimes but are of little risk to the public. Women will have the opportunity to participate in local centres which gives the opportunity of a variety of punishments however they also include services, programmes and treatments which are aimed at resolving and helping the issues of the vulnerable offenders and therefore tackling the underlying cause of crime. There are real life cases which prove that these centres do work and play a crucial role in lowering reoffending rates, however they are also more cost effective than prison. Overall, community sentences have a more positive outcome for the offender, their relatives and also society in comparison to prisons. In answer to the statement, prisons are an ineffective form of punishment for female offenders, and yes, an alternative form of punishment would be more effective, for example, community punishments.